Another thing that the symbol readers, the direct part marking readers, have a capability for is the ability to read very, very low contrast direct part marks. In this particular demo, I have a number of samples, one that's on a casting. This one is a pin marked, and I think if I move that around, you'll be able to see the pin mark on that. Um, this has been pin marked and then e coated or painted over, and also the ability to read on curved surfaces and actually this coat is really scratched up, but to read a part that was direct part mark with a pin marking and e-coated over on a curved surface to be able to read that. The ability to read black on black laser marked um, on rubber components, and I pulled this back so you can see that code there, and I'm hopeful if I move this around you'll actually be able to see the barcode on there. And then the ability to read uh, direct cast marks as you see on a rough surface casting with a lot of noise and the ability to read that at distances and then lastly what we'll show you is a white on white uh, pin mark and laser mark um, part that has a rough, cat, rough surface as far as plastic and ability to read that. So what Symbol's been able to do with software is been able to actually enhance these very very low contrast codes to be able to read it where other readers cannot read this. And notice that this is in a kind of an area that's difficult to read. So when we see that black on black code and we read it with the symbol reader, as you can see, I read it very easily. Okay. So a black on black part that's pin marked, I'm able to read that very easily. When we look at the curved surface black on black pin mark that's painted over, again, we can read that very easily because we're able to discern very slight differences in color to actually get that code to read. A much harder type of surface to read on is this rubber laser marked application where the data matrix code is laser marked on this soft rubber surface. Again, it's black on black and when we look at that, this is a much difficult, much more difficult mark to read, but it will read that mark um, depending on if we're getting reflection on lighting and stuff. So we're able to read that low contrast mark. And again, a lot of people have trouble reading um, direct part marking on cast surfaces when there's a lot of noise or um, rough aberrations on the surface so the, co the code actually becomes obliterated. But Symbol's actually able to pick this out and read that very well because what we can do is we can take a look at this code and focus on it and actually bring out and eliminate the background noise by, by putting this thing more out of focus so that when we come out of focus these aberrations or these reflections actually dis disappear. The dots in the data matrix code here actually become larger but less defined but we're still able to pick up that code. And lastly looking at um, a surface where it's white and it's marked with a laser or a pin marker to actually see the differences in the decoding of that surface and this is a very difficult mark to read but it will read. So the ability to read these types of marks in extreme conditions is what Symbol does very very well.